come closer if you want. What's the date? Yeah. The date today? Nine. Nine. Did we read it right? Yep. J. Zero zero two eight four. Zero zero two eight four. Just a little bit of corrugation, but not enough to make her hatch here. Yeah, she was banded uh, the 19th of December of last year. As an after hatch here. Uh, At that point, I'm pretty sure what it said. Did you have a copy of the uh, certificate sent? Um, I had an email to me. copy. Oh, no, I just had the okay. email version sent. Yeah, they don't send any hard copies anymore. It's just a little bigger than the first one this morning. Very close to the first one. Probably got some milk. I can see if you can fit it yeah, on the forehead there. Just on the crown, but not on the back. Maybe on the throat, mm -hmm. too. Very similar in shape to the Very to the one this morning. Mm -hmm. Definitely a Rufus. checking all these measurements, which are usually used to confirm that it's a Rufus hummingbird, which we already know. Um, but I'm also looking at um, molts. There's molts and feathers in certain patterns that we're studying. You can probably see these outer two feathers are browner and these are blacker. So those are the old feathers that she had um, this summer. And these newer ones are ones she's molted since the summertime. So she's molted pretty much all of them except the outer two. It's a little easier to see. Yeah, it is. see that. As much or if not more sometimes on mm -hmm. the shaft. Okay. Sometimes I, I kind of wait until I get home to really evaluate, but it looks like they're all new. The critical tail feathers for identification are R1, R2, and R5, which are the ones that first. I once caught an adult male with none of those, but he had a completely rufous back, so we 
could identify him, but his tail was just a mess. Yeah, it's so it was, he lost some and he's still yeah, growing. Yeah. And is there a particular pattern to the molt? Is it well? That's what we're trying to work out. Is you know, do the adults have a different pattern from the young ones? Males different from females? And it's a little bit difficult to discern right now. It seems like all of them molt, even the hatch ears. I have oh. hatch ears and suspended molt. So it seems like between you know June and August or October, something happens because I do see this molt limit in hatch ears as well. Really. Kind of weird. It is kind of weird. I've got a camera in here. Huh. You know, you've got enough light, you might be able to get the one in Toledo on the way home. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if I get a ticket on the way, I'll kill that. <laughs> yeah. Wow, the greens are very different in the in this one than the last one. Mm -hmm. The green on the tail is a. Uh, very different green in the back. What are the age? Uh, what is what is the age? Parameters on these? Are you getting five, six, seven-year-old birds, or are they all? That's what I'm going for when I when I photograph them. Spread it out like that. I don't know as much about Rufus as ruby throats, but it's probably pretty similar. Um, with the ruby throats, 80% of them that are hatched in the summer don't make it back. So once they get to that point, the average seems to be about three or four. And the record for a ruby throat is, I think, nine for female and seven for male. And I think it's maybe a year or two longer than that for Rufus. Would you like to listen to a heartbeat? Sure. Just slip her in your ear. <laughs> Stick it in deep first. It'll anchor it. <laughs> You're a low fluttering. Uh -uh. Try the other one. My hearing is much more deeper. Okay. So, do you have a hearing aid? No. no. Well, well, let's, okay. get, let's try it anyway. Okay. Sorry. It's like a low fluttering, like a cat fur. Okay. Sorry. Do you need a couple of pictures? Yeah, I'd love to see if I can get another one. Yeah. Just fascinated while he's holding it, how he handles it. Yeah, you know, when, so I, when, I, when, I, when I take the ruby throats and I do this with them, they spread their tails, but the rufus don't do that. That one might be one. Second on the primary. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with my cannon, it, it tends to overexpose things, so I try to actually go into the shade and use shade, the flash yeah. uh, with it. Wow, it's distinct. It's very distinct. Very, very distinct. distinct. With or without my hand, probably. Yeah, brown versus black. Wow. And I think they only have like four secondaries or something. So we don't really see too much. So, so if get a picture of the second Well, I think they're all new. And then they start on S1 or? Yeah, they would. So actually, basically everything is probably tertials. <laughs> Could be, yeah. But it looks like the the coverts are very dark, so I don't know that they they actually. Show
should coincide. But hard to know. One of the things. very well still. Time to let her go, I think. Ha, ha, ha. 